Welcome to the Daughters of Esther, Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. And part two is coming up for the four sources of wisdom. In part two, you will be listening to the earthly, sensual, and demonic wisdom, which is from beneath. And of course, the fourth type of wisdom, which is from above, which is from God. So the presenters will be Sonia and Dovey. And I'll see you the next time. God bless you. Tune in and listen. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight in Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. And this is a three-part series. The first part that we spoke on is Ask God for Wisdom. The second part was Wisdom Not From Above. And the third part is Wisdom From Above. And again, as I said, this is a third part series on wisdom. So I'm going to come from James 3, 17 through 18. And it says, but the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace, loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. I mm, love that. Amen. It is so awesome. In these scriptures, James has been describing the difference between worldly wisdom and godly wisdom. The last two shows, we talked about asking God for wisdom. And the second show was uh, Wisdom Not From Above, which was about the world's wisdom and yeah. selfish wisdom and all like that. And so the worldly wisdom encourages us to be selfish and greedy, right? And to put our own interests of needs of others first. Godly wisdom leads us to peace, mercy, gentleness, kindness, sincerity, and honesty. That's godly wisdom. James describes godly wisdom as being pure, which from the Greek word means hagni. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> this means undivided, chaste, or pure. This kind of wisdom is refined and focused on exactly one thing, and that is whatever God has called us to. Mm. That, whatever okay. God has called us to. The truly wise, understanding person is one whose faith in God leads them to selfless good works. God's wisdom leads people to live in humility of wisdom, setting themselves aside to serve others. That's what Jesus did yeah. when he was here. He served everyone else. Yeah. He served. He washed the disciples' feet. Um, he broke bread. He healed the sick. You know, he served others before he, he took care of himself. Wisdom from above opens their eyes to see every situation and every circumstance clearly. It gives us the capacity to see things from God's perspective and respond according to scriptural principles. God's wisdom gives us understanding on how to proceed in every situation, on how to proceed. We have to sow the seeds. And to me, when the scripture says that God's wisdom is pure, peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy, good fruits, unwavering. When we sow these seeds, if you think about it, they are seeds, the seeds of peace, the seeds of uh, gentleness, the seeds of uh, reasonable, full of mercy. When we sow these seeds in peace, people can see the love and light of God through us. God's wisdom inspires us to lay aside all causes of strife and hatred so we can promote unity and love. Only God's wisdom can guide our steps and lead us in the right path. When we use God's wisdom, God's wisdom, not our own, when we use God's wisdom, all the situations and circumstances we faced will come out for our good. And God already has the answers. Proverbs 3, 21 says, Keep 
sound wisdom and discretion. When we walk in God's wisdom from above, we are assured that the Lord is with us always. The wisdom from above saves us from many difficult circumstances in our life, many difficulties. It equips us to handle difficult circumstances and positions us to receive eternal rewards. Oh, wow. Think about that, Good. to receive eternal rewards, because we will get rewards. Now, we're not going to be nice and peace and peaceful and all like that to get the rewards, but that's the, that's the beauty of our Father. He's going to give us rewards for doing His will. Yeah. And how many people really want to come to somebody? How many people can we really talk to about salvation if we're not first peaceable yes. and kind and loving and understandable? We can't give them our words. They don't want to hear that. They want something that's going to change their situations. And only the wisdom of God can do that. And when we plant those seeds of peace, kindness, and steadfastness, and never swaying, you know, mm -hmm. going back and forth, determination, you know, that presents, that presents to people who Christ is, you know? Yeah, so the wisdom of God draws people to us to hear more about our Savior. So we're going to take a small break, and we'll be right back. Don't leave now. You want to hear the rest of what we're going to say. Join us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We're going to be speaking on different topics because we know that Satan comes to steal, rob, and destroy. And the Word comes to heal, deliver, free, bless, prosper. All these great and awesome, wonderful things that we should be experiencing and we should have now because we are seated in heavenly places. And when we begin to receive it by faith, and then we know that Satan's what? Satan's best? best. Just, Just not good, good enough. enough. Welcome back, and thank you for staying with us. Um, this is a three-part series on wisdom, and last week we talked about Ask God for Wisdom. Part two was Wisdom Not From Above, and this is part three, Wisdom From Above. So thank you for staying with us. And as we were saying in the last break, is um, God's wisdom, pure, peaceable, gentle, kind, that draws people to us. Yeah. And um, when I know that when, when I'm resting in God's wisdom, I do get peace. Mm -hmm. Peace for the situation. Yes. You know, and it's such a comfort and all. So, Ms. Sonia, what would you like to add to this? Do you have a situation, a circumstance of which out God's Absolutely. wisdom? Absolutely. This morning, the Lord spoke to me in regards to um, getting his wisdom when we're suffering, when we're dealing with um, a situation that has been long going. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we want to ask God to remove the situation. Oh, yes. But the wisdom of God has been telling me, don't ask me to remove it. Ask me for the wisdom on what I need to do through it. That's good. The That's purpose good. of why it is there. Yes. Um, and a lot of times it he allows the suffering. He didn't put it on us, but he allows the suffering because there are things in us yes. that he needs to get rid of. Mm -hmm. He needs to, there's where our character needs to be built. Yes. Where there may need healing needs to be yes. taken place. Um and then we would, our faith needs to be strengthened. Mm -hmm. Our trust in the Lord needs mm -hmm. to be strengthened. So I had the wisdom to know, God, help me in this area. Because I know I need healing. Mm -hmm. You know, because people can do things to hurt us. Yes. And a lot of times when we're in a time of suffering for such a long period of time, 
we're so busy asking God, like, what is going on? Remove yeah. this thing, <laughs> remove this. And we can get yes. bitter. Mm -hmm. We can get bitter. But you're saying that peace, mm -hmm. there is no peace in that when you're, when you're um, allowing the situation to change you mm -hmm. and not seeking God's wisdom on what is it that I need to do? Right. Why are you allowing this for such a long time? And a lot of times we can, because we're not operating in his wisdom, mm -hmm. prolong the situation. I, I, that's true. You know, and he reminded me of Esther and his timing. Where Mordecai, her uncle told her, how do you know that you have not been made queen for such a time as this to save your people? So how do we not know that we are in the situation that we're in and the outcome will be for saving other people. Mm -hmm. Like we spoke about in, in uh, the past two weeks, when we ask for God's wisdom and he gives it to us, mm -hmm. it not only affects us, it affects others. That is correct. So when um, Esther sought wisdom, the wisdom mm -hmm. of God that was operating through Mordecai, she knew to fast, she yeah. knew to pray. Yes. So when we ask for wisdom, sometimes God is telling us to fast and pray. So fast and pray so that we can get his outcome so we can hear clearly from him and not other people. Yes. And a lot of times we can share our um, our situation with other people mm -hmm. and they may be men and women of God, mm -hmm. you know, want the best for you. Mm -hmm. uh, they may not even they may not like your suffering mm -hmm. and give you advice, <laughs> give you their wisdom. Mm -hmm. And it's not what God has told you. It's not you what, what you're do. feeling that you, I mean, you know, in your spirit, what God is telling exactly. you. Exactly. And God had already told me in regards to this situation. I don't want you to worry. Amen. Don't worry Amen. because I was so worried about the consequences. What if this and this mm -hmm. and this and this, and that's what would happen a lot of times when we're in a situation for such a long time, the enemy will start speaking in our mind. Mm -hmm. And that is that last week, that earthly <laughs> devilish, <laughs> uh, selfish, where, like you said mm -hmm. um, last week, where you wanted to divorce your husband, or maybe it was the, the first uh -huh, week the when we were asking one. for God's wisdom, mm -hmm. where she was saying her wisdom was telling her divorce her husband, but she listened. And uh, other people may have been like, you need to let him go, you know, <laughs> yeah. but she went with God's wisdom, Amen. not God the way him. she felt but what he was telling her to do. Mm -hmm. it's, all t it's all God's timing, mm -hmm. and the wisdom of God will tell us your will be done, God. Amen. I want your will. And that's where that peace comes in. And then that harvest of righteousness yes. comes yes. in. Because just like Jesus, he knew the suffering. Yes. He knew he would endure suffering. But he said, not my will. Your will, God. He knew what God wanted him Amen. to do. And he followed through. Um, and like you shared, you know, that's why you have to really listen to all three uh, weeks on yes, the series definitely. of wisdom because they're very powerful mm -hmm. on a lot of times we'll go by our feelings on our uh, in our emotions mm -hmm. and not seek the wisdom of God. And if we would go by if Jesus went by yes. what he knew was going to go, what he was going to endure, then he may not have died on the cross for us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But yes, that he did. because he did. Yes. He saved the world. Amen. And all we got to do is receive it. Amen. Receive it. So when we ask for God's wisdom, receive his mm -hmm. wisdom. Believe if you're in a, you know, in a situation, go to what his first instructions are. Mm -hmm. And anything anybody says to you can be a, a man or woman or God. If it doesn't confirm what God has already told you, then stand still and don't move. Amen. Don't move because people will go and give you their wisdom, what they yes. think is good. And it may be a godly thing to do, but it may not be what God wants you to do that in that correct. situation. And That's why it's important to seek the wisdom from Amen. above. Amen. And God will tell you too. All you have to do is ask. It's mm -hmm. like in the first show, ask. Yes. Ask and he'll show you. And it'll be such a peace inside of you. The Holy Spirit will bring peace and you'll know that it's from God. Yes. Um, I had a situation with a job one time and I wanted out of that job so bad. I w I'd been in there for, for many years and, it, and I kept saying, Lord, I know it's time to go. And the Lord had told me, he said, I'm going to move you. I'm, and I knew the Lord had told me that. And different positions would come open and I'd say, well, well what about this? Mm -hmm. But I had enough word in me to say, God, do I do this? And God said, do not move out of your own wisdom. 
I didn't tell you to move. I'm telling you I'm going to move you, but that's not it. Wow. And I, I had situations where I was, and the Lord said, Lord said, I bring peace to wherever you go. So start bringing my peace in your situation. Mm -hmm. Know that I've got your future. Know that I know where you're going and you're going to have victory. So rest in my peace and trust me. Mm, trust God's wisdom instead of mine. And I did. And he kept me in that position three more years. Wow. But in those three mm -hmm. years, I was able to talk to people about Christ. Yeah. And because of the peace and love inside of me, it drew them to me. And they were able to get saved. Amen. And that's the wisdom of God, the pure, the peaceable, the loving, the gentle. That's what draws people to us. Yeah. So in me staying there, that was one of his things that needed to be fulfilled for, for me to stay in that job. Mm -hmm. But if I would have just jumped ship and said, well, I, I know God's telling me to do this. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. You know, right. so the wisdom of God kept me where I needed to be. And then when it was time to leave and a new position and a new company came open, it was made ex exactly for me. The times, the days, everything that I wanted. <laughs> and yeah. peace, I had such peace. And the Lord said, now you can go. Yeah. If I'd have moved out of my own wisdom and, and everything else, I would have messed it all up. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that's good because I also experienced something like that and see, um, like, like we mentioned before, when we operate in God's wisdom, it's not only for us, it's for other people. Exactly. She, because she listened and was obedient to the Lord, she opened the door for people to receive Christ. Amen. They're going to heaven because you were obedient. Amen. Because a lot of times we're in a situation, like I said, and it's not comfortable, we don't like mm -hmm. it, and we want to get out. We want to get out quickly, but God will let us stay there Yes. for a reason. So if there's like, some people are wanting new jobs and they've mm -hmm. been in their position for a long time. They have been skipped for promotions. They have not been um, like recognized for mm -hmm. their hard work. They're doing a job that is basically like below mm -hmm. their intellect, mm -hmm. their knowledge, their skill yes. level. But God is not moving them. No. And it can be very frustrating and discouraging. But the, the, what's the encouraging part of it, it's a reason. And God will Amen. only allow you to stay in a situation um, like that if he has a reason for you. Now, that's not being in an abusive relationship. Amen. In our case, like, he will tell you what to do yes. so that you, you know, and cover us. His mm -hmm. wisdom, when we operate in his wisdom, he mm -hmm. always covers us. He always <clears throat> provides for us. I had a sign in front of my desk and it said, peace. Um, oh, I ju it just went out of my head. I, I, I don't like when that happens. Peace and frustration cannot reside in the same place. Ooh, wow. You'll either be frustrated all day or you'll have peace all day. Oh, yeah. Choose which one you will have. Wow. God gave me that. Uh, God gave me that after I had resolved myself. Okay, Lord, I'm going to use your wisdom. I'm going to stay. And I'm just going to, I'm going to show the peace and the love of God. Mm, and I put that good. up. And do you know, everyone that came in that office said, that is pretty awesome. Yes. And it did. It, it helped out. And I kept looking at that. That's right. The peace of God. Yes. <laughs> reminding God. yourself. Reminding <laughs> yourself. That is good. That's powerful. Mm, it is. It's very powerful. Oh, wow. I love that. And one of the girls in the office, she knew everything that was going, that was happening in my situation and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, she knows the Lord, but she wasn't really following the Lord or anything like this. But she had, when uh, it was time to leave, she had came to me and she said, you know, I know God. Well, I'd rather I've seen God and heard people talk about God and everything. She says, but I have seen the peace of God on you these wow. last few months and things. And, and I'm just telling you, it's changed me. Good. And I didn't even know that, that, that she was watching, but somebody's yeah. always watching. Yeah. So we have to be careful. We have to have the wisdom of God with the peace, the purity, the gentleness, the loving. You know, and mm -hmm. and that's what happens, and we will reap, you know, yeah, like a harvest. Hallelujah! Hey, man, that's <laughs> wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes. So I know that uh, in a, the workplace, I deal with um, 
like you said, being mindful that people are seeing you and mm -hmm. operating in the wisdom of God. And I've had to ask God for wisdom mm -hmm. to deal with, uh, you know, a lot of people that you work with. And one particular person is very negative, you know, always saying something negative, like, you know, mm -hmm. oh, you, you're saying, you know, you're doing that. Oh, this is about to come on you or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And the wisdom of God will say, no, I'm not receiving that. Amen. And I'm, I'm not receiving that. No, I'm not. Amen. You know, and <laughs> sometimes it allow you because I dealt with the situation with this individual and God had me not respond to what she was saying, but he was speaking to me about what was going on with her, Amen. that she needed healing. Mm -hmm. So because I was listening and didn't respond and I operated in, in, in his wisdom, mm -hmm. I knew how to deal with the situation Amen. Yes. and how to pray for her. Yes. I was like, okay, thank you. All right. You know, and I did not let what she was saying offend me because Amen. God was saying she's coming from a place from her. He said she needs my healing. Amen. She needs my healing. Amen. So what do I pray for? Her healing. Amen. Her healing, you know, and, and it's good because I know when she says anything negative, mm -mm, I'm good. Amen. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not tired. Amen. You know, because people say, oh, you look so tired. You look so beat up, you know, just, <laughs> just words that they don't realize the power of the word exactly. and God's wisdom to tell you. That's not what I put on you. That's exactly. not what I've given you. You speak my word and my truth Amen. over the situation. Life. Yes, life. Absolutely. Speak life. speak life into that situation. Amen. And then every time you saw that thing about peace and frustration, oh, that was speaking yeah. life back into her, mm -hmm. that peace of God over her. Because like you were saying, wisdom from above will give us peace. Because Amen. when we know we're doing it God's way, we've sought his wisdom there's always going to be peace. We don't Amen. have to worry. We don't Amen. have to worry. And, and like you said, it's a choice. Choose. Yeah. We have peace to choose. Peace or frustration. Amen. Choose his wisdom <laughs> or your wisdom. We must choose yes. his wisdom. Amen. Amen. So we're going to end it out here. And uh, we want to thank you for being with us this evening for a three-part series on wisdom. Yes. And I'd like to encourage you that in every situation, Ask God for the wisdom from above because God's wisdom will take care of your circumstances and situations and bring you out the victor. So don't hesitate. Don't delay. Whenever you have a situation, ask God for wisdom and let the peace of God come upon you. Get in the word of God. He says that we have not because we ask not. Ask him for it. And a lot of times we deal with situations that we don't have to with just but the wisdom of God shows us how to stop a situation. So I encourage you, get the wisdom of God. Ask for the wisdom of God. Listen when he talks and do what he says because it will be better for you the rest of the day. I thank you for joining us tonight. Have a blessed evening. Have a good evening.